The state attorney general tonight accusing Van Dyne of obstructing an investigation into more than 24 cases of neglect, seven of which resulted in deaths of residents. Going through new, new court documents, News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan explains how bad it was for some in the troubled nursing home and how the owners are trying to get out of it. More than 50 pages filed in state Supreme Court accused Van Dyne of, quote, willfully and unlawfully ignoring the attorney general's 22 subpoenas over the last year. The document claims the investigation already found serious resident harm, resident death, and repeated persistent resident neglect. The AG blames insufficient staffing and says owners diverted substantial funds intended for resident care. The AG's Medicaid Fraud Control Unit is investigating at least 24 complaints, including deaths from unauthorized administration of medication, lack of action regarding an elevated glucometer finger stick reading, failure to feed someone and properly suction her trachostomy, and the death of a woman from a fall that caused her nightgown to catch on the door handle, creating a noose around her neck. The attorney general hopes a judge will demand Van Dyne to supply requested medical records and incident reports, along with the hidden metadata that proves the time primary data was entered. And in the case of Leonard Casciano, a man from East Syracuse who died in rehab, surveillance footage of the hallways. The attorney general has an anonymous source claiming false late entries were made to his medical record. Responding to News Channel 9, a spokesperson for Van Dyne disputes any allegations of abuse and neglect and writes, quote, the suggestion that Van Dyne is willfully obstructing the investigation is absurd and untrue. We are simply asserting our legal rights throughout the process and looking forward to the opportunity to establish the facts in court. Another portion reads, quote, any allegation that Van Dyne's ownership diverted funds that were intended to be used to hire staff is entirely false. A judge will decide what happens next. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. The Attorney General still encouraging anyone with complaints about Van Dyne to come forward with their stories. You can file online at localsyr.com or call 833-249-8499. It's official. People